of Albert Einstein, and the gentleman who portrays Albert is here today to talk to you about his role and alienation in general. So please join me giving a welcome to Jeff Marcus. Jeff? Yet, that thing does not come off unless you want it to come off. And then 
and then it's difficult. On the positive side, it is kind of like this squishy foam, so you can always take it out without a pillow. You just kind of lay down. <laughs> it's very cushioned. All the noises are out. And that's kind of nice. Um, why, why does everybody have different kinds of spots? Why does everyone have different kinds of spots? And do they change? And do they change? <laughs> no, each character is given their own spots, um, similar to a thumbprint. Um, I don't know if you noticed, Albert has larger spots than most. Yeah. Mm. Does that mean he has a simple mind? <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't mean he has a simple mind. Did you see the Venom episode? Yeah. 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 Did you ever hear the old myth about shoe size? <laughs> <laughs> Same thing with spots. <laughs> yes, sir. Do they plan to do more with the baby? Do they plan to do more with the baby? Best night. That was a great episode. The birthing episode? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was terrific. Yeah. Is anybody the coming out with one of those for Christmas? <coughs> Babies? <laughs> That'd be bright. Bright and fox, if they think they can make money off it, I'm sure they'll be out. They're extraordinary little things. Just computerized. The, um, there'll be a lot more with Vesna, and I imagine as she grows older, until they can find a young person who'll be willing to go through that makeup process, I'm sure they'll be interesting as to how they computerize her further and further on. But um, yeah, there's going to be a lot more with the baby next what, season. Was that a real? What what was that coming out in actuality? What was that coming out in the birthing episode? It looks so. Not the pod, the actual. But it was indeed this robotic child. <laughs> that we had about 12 people controlling, and they indeed put KY all over it to give it that like like she. They have about three of them. They have some of them that are just still dolls. They have some of them that their face just moves, some of them that their arms and legs just move, but then they have one where the face and the eyes and the mouth and the hands and the legs and the breathing and everything's going. You have like 15 grown men over there operating, you know, walking, talking, radio control things. This is a little baby yeah. that's just moving. So that's what. The umbilical thing that hooked on his nipple, that again was a radio controlled device that, um, that maneuvered its way towards his chest and then I think he actually placed it on his nipple. Yeah. But it, was, it was actually on him, it wasn't shot separately in any way? No, we, were, we have like a whole special effects crew that specifically is there for those kind of weird <laughs> things. <laughs> I mean, they do everything from when I got shot from a bullet exploding to um, you know, creating a baby and an umbilical cord that sticks out a nipple. Yeah, and those those machi that machine like during the Russian roulette thing that shot the water. They built that for the price of a small family car. And <laughs> it's amazing. They have a whole crew working on that all the time. Yes, sir. Are you gonna? Are we gonna learn more about the Vietnam Church thing that Albert was a member of and he's no longer? I mean. Are we going to learn more about the yeah. church thing that Albert was well, I, I, I hope they go into more of that. I do believe they will specifically because I think next season they're talking about marrying Albert off to the sandwich girl, which means that for Albert to have a child, he's going to have to ask George to father since he can't actually have a child. He can only catalyze. So um, that should be interesting. And I, I imagine that whole bit of stuff will be brought back. It's kind of an interesting concept, isn't it? Yes, sir. When is uh, Sykes and uh, Neighbor finally going to get together? Yeah. <laughs> you know what's so funny is I thought that we had this yesterday and I thought a lot of people would be curious as to when Sykes and Kathy was going to get together. I thought it would be mostly the women wanting to know when Sykes was going to get on. But it's always the men who want to know when Kathy's going to get on. It's interesting. I'll be sure. Yeah. Um, the... The... They're the final episodes of the season, which haven't aired yet, are going to be having, I mean, there's a whole show around that one issue that's very beautiful. So stay tuned. We start the, n the second part of this season tomorrow night, actually. There's a new one with the gas and that. Yeah. Are Matt and Kathy going to get together? Well, that's, that's what this gentleman asked, and indeed that will be dealt with in the next few shows. So look, stay tuned. Am I really that clumsy? Not at all. That's who I based my character on. Yes, sir. Yeah, if you get married, is your wife going to let you service all the mothers? <laughs> Uh, 
I, I, I think Albert stopped that when he decided to go back to the police precinct. At least as far as I've been concerned, he has. So, yeah. <laughs> so. Yay. Yes, sir. Would there be any confrontations, like, with the overseers on Earth? Will there be any confrontations with the overseers on Earth? Yes, um, I think that's a kind of a running storyline thing, the fact that the overseers are indeed not only trying to get the aliens back to being slaves on the other planet, they're trying to contact the other planet to get the aliens back, but they're indeed also trying to possibly get the Earthlings enslaved and back on their planet. So, yes. Yes. Did the message get through to that ship, possibly? Did the message get through to the ship, possibly? Um, one never knows. <laughs> so, I'm not one of the writers, and, and hopefully that, I mean, I think that was a fascinating thing to bring in next season. Who knows if they're going to be bringing that in? I, I guess that depends on how many seasons we run and how long, uh, how much we can... I'll be doing it for about the next 20 years. Uh, 20 Star years. <laughs> in that makeup. <laughs> that money. On a more serious note, do you know any reason why we haven't seen any black aliens? On a more serious note, do I know why we haven't seen any more black aliens? Any black aliens, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the show was originally conceived as a parable for racism, and they've been very careful casting-wise to try and, and, and always have, at least in the police precinct and guest stars, to have uh, a great number of blacks and Latinos and um, Orientals or Asians. And what happened during the... I asked that question to the makeup people and said, you know, here we have a show about racism and that all the aliens are white. And they said that it took them so many months of trying to develop the exact shade of skin color for white people just to be able to have that thing that it's actually prohibitive for them to do it. For, they can't seem to match the color in... T I'm telling you what I hear. If they're so able to computerize the baby I don't know. Okay. I don't know because, well, for one thing, white skin is pretty much white skin is white skin. And what you're dealing with with, with black skin is you have many different shades. So you <laughs> can't have but one. But Vulcans are all green. Why would they have a black Vulcan? These aliens are a particular race. It seems that, it just seems that because the oh, show is like based, based on racism, yeah. let's face it, producer, director, writer of the pilot, about nine years ago, called Senior Trip. This was with Faye Grant, the girl from V, and Scott Bale, and Mickey Rooney, and, and uh, I had hoped, I had hoped, you know, that he would use me again, because he works a lot. He did V, he did Bionic Woman, he did Hulk, he, he's a very talented guy. I was doing some regional theater in Florida, and I got a call from Ken Johnson saying that, Jeff, I just wrote this role for you, I'm sending you the script, if you're interested, we'd love to have you, and it's a pilot, and uh, I wrote it for you, you'll be playing a retarded alien janitor. <laughs> <laughs> I understood totally and it was flattered and came out to California to do it. So I was very lucky in that it just I just got a phone call and but that doesn't happen very often, but when it does, thank you. Yes, sir. Um they had linguistics or somebody made up this language, okay? Yes. Do they have any plans to like put it in a book like they did with the Klingons or with um, if this is a question about the language, um, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's currently, I mean, we use the same words to mean the same things in each show. So, indeed, there is a definite language which is incredibly difficult to memorize. If you only knew how difficult it is to memorize. Um, and we do have people that are specifically there to come up with this language. Um, I don't know if they're planning, they have the cards out there, so with alphabet right. and the letters, mm -hmm. which the alphabet is, is used. Um, I very, to the most, and it's very funny to watch him and Eric, who have a very similar relationship off the set on the set, because Eric, who also is a very handsome guy, who looks like a conehead, you can't <laughs> tell that, and Gary pushes in his face quite a bit. Gary actually met one of the extras, uh, this beautiful model extra during one of those model series, when they had the models on the prostitutes, whatever those models do, and he met one of his future fiancé, wife, doing that, so Eric's not going to get a date looking like he looks, though. <laughs> <laughs> Nor have I, just for the record, so. I'm sorry? How are our movie worked? If I can be so bold to say, I don't think the movie worked as well as the TV show. I think the TV show gets gets a lot more into the internal. I mean, in, in the movie, the only thing you saw of 
uh, George's family is them all waving goodbye to him in the morning. And mostly it was just kind of like a cops and robbers Miami Vice with these people with heads. So I think, that, I think that the TV show gets a lot more involved. I think it's a lot more valid than the movie was. Yes. Was the sandwich girl your pick? Was the sandwich girl? She actually wasn't. I was very happy with the sandwich girl. Hey, Excalibur again. Oh, it's June. Oh, 1-800-937-7777. There's Arco, MP, and when they had a gas, they're about to run out. This is the famous Las Vegas Strip. Can we turn up here on top? Yeah, you can if you want. It doesn't, yeah. Well, where are we going? I'm asking you. Yeah, I guess. There's Trump Canada, and there's your scale for getting it. Not the. Ooh. No staff coming. Probably kill us here. Here's the MGM Marina. This hotel might not be around much longer because it's going to be converted into the MGM uh, Hotel and Theme Park, which will be like the MGM Studios in Epcot. Is the the one I like? I don't know. He's the one that like makes things disappear. Goes over Niagara Falls and everything. And is Excalibur. Is that a landscaping? Is that a beautiful hotel, Steph? Steph, don't get the flying fish. There's a sign. It's not done yet. And uh, we'll see you later. Bye.